Senator Kavanaugh, thank you so much for taking the time today with me. First of all, you must be exhausted. You've been filibustering a bill for seven weeks, sometimes 13 hours a day. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I am exhausted. And yes, I have been since uh, February 23rd. I've been filibustering everything in the Nebraska legislature. And tell me a little bit about what is this bill about? The It's LB 574, the Let Them uh, Grow Act. What is that? Um, well, the name is, uh, I would say, not a very good description. It's an anti-gender affirming care bill for trans youth. And the intentionality behind it is to uh, prohibit transgender youth from getting gender affirming care, starting with therapy, hormone blockers, uh, leading up to surgery. And it, like across the country, was introduced in Nebraska and has been a very uh, dangerous path for us to go down. And in Nebraska, we really pride ourselves on being moderate and not following national trends, but being really thoughtful, especially with our unicameral. So this has been a different, a different year for us, for sure. And what are the arguments being made um, of from by proponents of this bill on why it needs to be passed? The arguments haven't been great, um, mostly that we don't trust parents to make medical decisions between them and their kids and their doctors. And so it really has not been a strong argument. It's mostly just been that transgender youth shouldn't have access to this care. And so that's really why I've stood up against it, because we're prohibiting care specifically based on gender identity. And the same exact care would still be available for youth that did not identify differently from their assigned at birth gender. This is such an interesting thing. I mean, I feel like this issue has been so um, um, thwarted by the right in a lot of ways. I mean, gender identity is, I'm telling you something you know, but just to help explain yes. to people, is not about sex. It is about who uh, people are born and feel they are, right? Um, so how right. do you explain this to parents and others who just don't understand what it is? Well, I there's it's a health care. This is a health care issue. So when we have a youth, no matter what their gender assigned at birth is, and they need specific health care, that generally speaking is something that they deal with privately with their parents, guardian, and, and they go to the doctor and they get the health care that they need. And sometimes youth who identify the same, born a girl, feel like they're a girl, they still might need hormone therapy for whatever reason. There's lots of medical reasons to need hormone therapy. Born a boy, identify as a boy, they might need to have breast reduction surgery. All of that is completely acceptable in this bill. The issue is if you are born a girl and you identify as a boy and you need hormone therapy, or you're born a boy and you identify as a girl and you need hormone therapy or surgery, all of the sudden we open ourselves up to value judgments on medical care and it's discriminatory. And that is really what people need to take away as the main problem with this bill. It is discriminatory based on how the individual patient identifies themselves. In addition to what you're fighting in Nebraska, we just saw in Missouri yesterday that the state attorney general uh, issued new regulations that will also severely limit gender affirming care for both adults and youth. There's, in fact, the ACLU says there's been four, more than 400 anti-LGBTQ plus bills up for consideration at the state level. I can't figure out why this is the hill that legislators want to die on. This is about kids, adults, people who are living the life of who they know they are. Uh, why? What do you think the motivation is? I I really don't know what the motivation is. I th think it is driven by fear of the unknown and other. And historically, when we have seen policies that target a minority population based on who they are, it is from coming from a place of fear and unknowing, but that is not a good way for any legislation to happen. Legislation should be thoughtful, purposeful, diligent. It should be uh, coming from a place of kindness and compassion. And when we're legislating health care, we should always tread extremely lightly, extremely lightly. And somehow we have focused our 
national conversation on the health care of a minority population. And to me, it feels like those that are proponents of this type of legislation are seeking to eradicate the existence of transgender people. And that's why I think that everyone, every policymaker, no matter their political affiliation, should be standing up in opposition to this because we are at a moment in time in history where we are going to be deciding if transgender people can live peacefully in America as they have forever, or if we're going to try to eradicate their existence. And that is problematic and everyone should be afraid of that. Senator Kavanaugh, thank you for your activism, your voice, for your uh, indefatigable, I think it's safe to say, um, advocacy uh, for this we'll be watching closely, but thanks for explaining it to us today as well. Thank you. I really appreciate being able to talk with you.